everyone. So looks like Nia De Costa, who is the director for the upcoming The Marvels movie, she looks like she's finally speaking up about this article dropped the other day from the Variety. And in that article, Variety, they said that Nia De Costa began to working on another film while The Marvels was in still in post production. The filmmaker moved to London earlier this year to begin prepping for her. Her Tessa Thompson drama Hedda. So this year, uh, when this news dropped, and uh, when I personally saw this, I was like, "Whoa, this is doesn't sounds good." Uh, especially the director. Uh, while this movie is in post production, you go working on another movie. That sounds like you don't care about this project. Like you don't believe in this movie. Uh, then again, you are trying to skip this project. Then again. Whenever you're working on Marvel movie, it is different from working on any other movie because in other movies you have like full freedom. It's when you are working as a director, like this is your movie. But in the Marvel movie, uh, you know, it's different. The director, they don't do much. Obviously they have like the Marvel team, they take care of everything. But this movie's case, I feel like that when this news broke other day from Variety, like she left the movie from, uh, especially during the post production, it sounded like it, it sounded bad, honestly. But now I'm glad that she is coming out, and in her interview, she is clearing out things that uh, I personally I didn't thought about it, or neither I thought that there is a possibility that she left during the post production because she had higher commitment so it makes sense when you hear her interview especially the marbles it, it delayed so many times like she was explaining this movie been delayed like one and a half year like it delayed delayed and uh, she had to post from this uh, project she was working with uh, Tessa Thompson and when I hear her interview it does make sense on the other hand uh, if you are first time directing a movie especially such a huge movie the marbles and you leave your post-production movie, it just sounds like, whoa. Uh, I think she always knew that like this movie will get a lot of negative press. And after this movie release, who knows? He, she might not get another movie or something. She probably wanted to make sure her this movie with Tessa Thompson, uh, Hedda. I wonder what this movie is about. I don't know what this movie is about. Uh, I think she wanted to make sure that she is doing good with this one. Uh, Especially when I her interview, uh, here if you hear her interview, sounds like she is uh, familiar with all the hate she get from the people. Especially she says around the marbles. Uh, she I guess she was expecting to get all this hate, and uh, turns out she is. <laughs> that means that I have not seen any of her movies. Uh, and this article from Variety did sounds really suspicious. Did Marvel try to blame her for this movie's failure? Sounded like that, honestly. But I'm glad that she is finally coming out in her interview and she's clearing things up because as the audience, when you hear this, you know, the director left the project in the process production doesn't sound good. It does not sound good. Then again, she's trying to promote this movie. Uh, because she's the only one who can promote this movie. Rest of the cast can't. So that is sad, I guess, for them. Uh, I think personally she did good that she is coming out and clearing things out. And let me know in the comment what do you think about her uh, clearing and everything's up now. And if you enjoyed about this video, don't forget your other videos on other topics. If you enjoyed this, please subscribe until I see you next time. Please take care.